Hey guys, well, it's another snow day here in Alabama, and it's not really snow, it's ice, but I recently learned about this new Elements app, and I wanted to share it with all my teacher friends and my parents that I am friends with that are always looking for different things to do with their kids. And I did manage to get my son away from the Xbox for a little while to come down because he did think this was kind of cool. He's 12 and in the sixth grade, he's going to show us how this app works. And it's totally free. It's called Elements 4D. And it's an augmented reality app. So what I have there in front of us, there are printable blocks that you can make. And the app is put out by a company called Daiquiri, D-A-Q-R-I. And they're in the process of creating these blocks that you can just purchase but we did put the blocks together, just printed them on paper, and, um, and those work perfectly fine. They're just not real durable. So on the blocks, Chandler, can you just hold those blocks up in front of the camera and show us? They include all the different elements from the periodic table. And the way that it works, the augmented reality, is the app Elements is pulled up on Chandler's iPad. Chandler, can you click out of that and then go back into Elements so they can kind of see... Ish. What it looks like, yeah. So there's the Elements app there, and when he taps on it, we've already opened it, so it's just going to take us straight back up to the camera. But it does have a little launch screen. And so if he takes one of those cubes and puts it behind his camera on his iPad, it's going to um, it's going to animate the cube. Go ahead and pick one and just do it. All right, my fave. Your fave. This one's his favorite. All right, gold. Gold is his favorite. So as you can see, it turns it into an actual gold cube there. No, and, not actually, but you know. Oh, okay, not actually. So he was excited earlier. He said, oh, I'm holding gold. And down at the bottom, it puts the name of the element. All right, do another element. Uh, what is that one? That. Bismuth? Yeah. Okay. And as he rotates, gives a little bit of information, shows the... Element number. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Okay, so this is really cool. Now, on the website, on the Elements website, there are a ton of lesson plans that you can print out for teachers to use. It goes all the way down to, um, to second grade. And so what he's done now is he's got two elements there, platinum and what was the other one? And the luminous. Um, I done, yeah, I done, and he just showed them out there together. But those two don't join; they don't combine. What's one that joins? So let's find some that we know what makes water, Chandler. H two O. Yeah, so hydrogen and oxygen. So see if you can find the hydrogen. Here's the oxygen cube, and then see if you can find the hydrogen cube. Here it is. Yeah. So he's going to put hydrogen and oxygen out there together. Do them individually first so we can kind of see and then push them together. So when he puts hydrogen out and oxygen out. Oh, wait, no. Oh. All right, I went ahead and showed them together, didn't it? All right, so there's hydrogen, which is a gas, and oxygen, which is a gas. But when he pushes those two together, they make H2O, and so then it turns into water, which is really cool. It also shows... Um, what it looks like when it joins mathematically. Ooh, snap. <laughs> okay, so we thought this was a really cool app. Let's do another one. Let's do uh, uh, let's do calcium chloride. Oh, look at oh wait, what's that? Sodium sulfide. So we combine sodium and sulfur. Now pull them apart and see what they look like. There's sodium, there's sulfur, and when you put them together they create sodium sulfide. So I just thought this is a really great resource that could be used not only for if you teach chemistry at the high school level, but the lesson plans that they've written make it really user friendly for kids all the way down to second grade. Even when you're just talking about liquids, solids, and gases, going through each one of the cubes and identifying whether it's a solid, a liquid, or a gas. So. Dad's talking. My husband's at home working today, so everybody's in the house. Um, anyway, if you want to access it, it is Elements 4D, and I will show you real quick. Here is the website. Yeah, you're good. Chemistry lesson plans for elementary school. He couldn't wait to go play Xbox again. And here it gives you some information. 
but also shows you how you can how to use the app and how you can join those elements together has a ton of activity sheets and it takes you through the lesson plans and all of them are aligned to standards the next generation standards they're the activity sheets that go along with it and everything so i hope you enjoyed our video have a great snow day alabama <laughs>